A young boy asked me a question here in this particular masjid after salah. A beautiful question related to how his weakness overtakes him now and again. And I said, you know what? Keep on doing good. Keep on increasing your good. And every time you falter, go back to the good. Do not let it distract you from your good deeds. I tell you why. Because your iman is strengthened with your good deeds and it becomes weakened with your bad deeds. We have five rulings. Mandatory, then recommended, then permissible, then makruh, then haram. So makruh is a degree above haram, above prohibition. But if you do it, you're not sinful. If you leave it, then you are rewarded. So he says that I heard a da'i saying so. So what's the ruling on masturbation? But according to research, today research tells us that amongst the males, 95% masturbate. Amongst the females, approximately 80% masturbate. I'm not saying that it is normal to masturbate, but it is very common. Masturbation is haram. It can cause problems, it can cause health problems, it can cause psychological problems and most of the time masturbation is associated with haram activities. Most of the time masturbation is associated with pornography. Whether you're watching a blue film or a pornographic film or you're watching obscene photographs, images. Here itself if it's associated to haram activity that again becomes haram. So if you associate masturbation with pornography or with obscene photographs, it is haram and that is prohibited and it leads to that high chances. Akhi, masturbation is prohibited. And why do we say it's prohibited? Because Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Mu'minun and in Surah Al-Ma'arij, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ إِلَّا عَلَى أَزْوَاجِهِمْ أَوْ مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُهُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ غَيْرُ مَلُومِينَ فَمَا نِبْتَغَى وَرَاءَ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْعَادُونَ So Allah says that those who protect their private parts from any illicit, prohibited sexual intercourse, unless it's with their wives and what their right hand possesses. And whoever chooses to fulfill his desire in other means, then they are the transgressors. What kind of transgression is this? Whenever you do something that Allah has prohibited, this is a form of transgression against Allah. So this ayah, Imam Shafi'i says, is a clear cut that satisfying your sexual desires other than what Allah has permitted you to do is a form of transgression. In another hadith, and the Prophet ﷺ was addressing the youth and he said to them, O youth, whoever is financially capable and physically capable of getting married, then he should get married because this helps him to lower his gaze and protect his chastity. So this is the natural channel. Okay, Prophet of Allah, I can't afford to get married. What should I do? I'm still suffering. I cannot lower my gaze and I cannot preserve my chastity, meaning that I can't get mad. What to do? Did the Prophet say, go and masturbate? Because this is degree number two, level two. Never. He told them, whoever is unable to afford it, then he should fast. This would be to him a blockage of his sexual desire. So now you compare apple to apple. The scholar said it's haram. Imam Shafi'i said it's haram. The Prophet directed us والسلام, to fast and never ever he agreed or permitted the companions to masturbate. So if you do the math, you certainly know and understand that this is prohibited and Allah Azza wa knows best.